I'm going to show you the cross concept out of the trip side information. This is out of the Patriots playbook. The play we're looking at today is going to be PA Shot Wheel. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get my entire New England trip side in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my uh, Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks and anything new that we release while your membership is active. So if you want to be in the Patreon, the link is going to be in the description, and I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player. Now, what we're going to do to, uh, with this concept here is we're going to streak our tight end. We're going to drag the inside trips receiver, and then we are going to put our outside trips receiver on a five-yard in route. This is going to create really nice uh, routes over the middle of the field. We're going to have a lot of options against man coverage, zone coverage. And uh, our first read is always our tight end. For our second read, we're looking at that drag, and then we're really looking at this crossing route. I think this crossing route, um, specifically out of the play PA shot wheel, is significantly better than it has ever been in Madden. One of the things a lot of people will do is they will try to key in on certain um, players on your on your play, right? So one of the biggest keys for anyone that's defending trips tied in is they want to take away your inside trips receiver. So a lot of times he'll be individually manned up or they'll be making specific adjustments to try to take him away. So what we want to be able to do with this play is we want to utilize – this, um, this crossing route, so we still get to that deep point of the field, and now they're going to be wasting resources trying to defend that inside trips receiver. Now, another thing that makes this play really good is um, a lot of people right now, with the way man coverage plays, a lot of people are shading over top. And the reason why is because if you don't shade over top this year, um, you're going to have a lot of problems in man-to-man -man coverage. Let me just give you a brief example. If we just simply took the outside trips receiver – and we put him on a streak, and then we run everything else exactly the same, what's going to happen is this outside trip receiver a lot of the time is going to be able to beat or burn him over the top, and it also does leave you know opportunity for a one-on-one. -on -one. So a lot of people right now, the way they're playing man-to-man -man coverage is they're going to be basically shading um, over the top, and to a degree could also be shading inside and over the top, but basically over the top. So... This is where this becomes really good because when you don't get press, the spacing on this actually works out really nice for us. You're going to see here this in route is a great read and a great check down for uh, man coverage. If they're playing man coverage and they're not pressing you, um, that is a really, really good read. Now, another thing that's a really good read, let's say they're, uh, they're uh, let, let, let's say they're blitzing you. So they're sending some heat. You have a blocked running back. What's cool about PA shot wheels, you can actually slide protect out of this and you'll notice that it will actually play more like a pass play. So you see here, we'll slide to the right to pick up the blitz. And then we can hit this drag or this little shallow route as well against man coverage across the middle of the field. So we have some good reads uh, against man coverage. Literally every single route beats man. So if the user decides, well, I'm going to stay down to guard the backside in, then we're going to be in a position now where this crosser is going to have a lot of space to be able to work. And a lot of times it's going to beat man coverage over the middle of the field. So now we're going to kind of get into some zone concepts and why the cross concept, I think, is one of the better uh, concepts in Madden for attacking zone coverage. One of the best ways to defend any kind of deep you know, cross or corner, a lot of people like to utilize cloud flats. If they don't respect your drag route, that is always our, our main read. And we want to make sure that they're having to put uh, some hard flats and some underneath zones on the field. What do I mean by underneath zones? A lot of people like to utilize Mabel coverage. And in order to utilize Mabel coverage, they're going to have to use her that tight end or that crosser early on in this play. So if they are in yellow, we can hit it right in here and we can take this drag route. I think that's one of the most underrated ways uh, to run this is to hit that drag route before it gets to the flats, uh, which will do a really good job because now the user is going to have to bite or uh, bite down more uh, to be able to help and take that take that throwing a window away. And then the beauty of that is going to be now we're going to be able to either hit our backside in route or we're going to be able to, if he's down there, I can throw this up top before he gets to the deep cloud flat or deep quarter uh, that they're trying to utilize to slow this down. Now, the other thing that's really important is because of the way this cross concept is going to work, they're going to be forced uh, to basically have a 30-yard cloud. A standard cloud is not going to get deep enough. Sometimes a 30-yard cloud won't even get deep enough. And uh, you'll see here this crosser just absolutely gets over the top of uh, 
uh, really any standard zone that they're going to be able to play, whether it be cover two, cover three, cover four. Now, uh, another real popular way people like to defend, and one of the best ways to defend this would be to utilize a baseline and press cover four drop uh, where those yellow zones are coming underneath. But what you'll see, again, you can throw this before he gets to the quarter, and they have to use her that in that little seam area and in that window. So because they have to use her, this crosser over the middle, then what that does is it provides us with a check down opportunity uh, to this backside in route. You'll see here, uh, if we just wait on him, he'll get you know kind of across the field, and it's a great little check down for your offense. The cross concept is well equipped to be able to beat really any defense that your opponent is going to call. And if they're not pressing you, it becomes one of the best passing concepts uh, in the game this year because these crossing routes will do a really good job of being able to attack man coverage, being able to attack zone coverage. And, I mean, match coverage doesn't really do that well either. Match coverage doesn't really go on anything right now. So kind of just showing man and zone. But love this route. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full trip side in offensive ebook, join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description.